coming out of Kingston, the Dark Destroyer, Stewart. And his opponent across the way, Dexter Crusher. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. There you go. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Crusher. by Stewart. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Stewart's getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round, and he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now, he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches. But there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answers. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Crusher. Oh, hands up, hands up! Oh. He scored well after being hit himself. Good, solid right hand land. Good flush shot upstairs. <laughs> Crusher's tag! They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Right to the belt line. Halfway through this round. Stewart's movement helps out there. He avoided that punch. Rusher's done a good job there, offensively defense, scoring with defense. that left hand. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Stewart. Wow, is he defensively sound. Well off the mark by Stewart. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Parries that punch intended for the head. Ten seconds remaining in this round. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Crusher. Three minutes gone by in this.
shoelaces right there. Rusher's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counter punch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am shadow boxing, that shadow, it has a little bit of a punch. It's hitting me back. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Crusher. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Nice two punch combo by Stewart. He comes with a straight right hand. He just missed that shot up top. Each man able to land an uppercut. That right hand over the top lands flush. Stewart's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Rusher's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. And that's the end of round three. Find the body, then finish with the upper. We got it. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he was... Oh, Crusher's cracked by a right hand. Stewart's left now getting into the mix. We're seeing good work on the inside with the hook. Teddy, is it harder to train a guy defensively to deal with this than when they're fighting at more range? Well, you have to learn to fight on the inside. What you have to do is make sure that your defense gets tighter. Automatically, I tell my fighters, Joe, when you get in close, get everything tighter. Everything up, everything closer, because you know that's where the stuff's going to be coming at you fast. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's a solid right hand by Stewart. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Nice combo by Stewart. Flush right hand to the body. on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Crusher's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic two, thing in the one, world two. is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. All right, deep breath. Well timed by Crusher. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Crusher showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Nice work, nice work.
very nice, smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judge's scorecard. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. Precision work with the left hand by Stewart. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about bass boys, a guy likes to be in the paint. Hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. Good biting, snapping shot by Stewart. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Super two-punch combo by Crusher. Zones in on that overhand right. You're doing great! So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that... Big shot there. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. he is made of getting up off the canvas after being knocked down there's that overhand right Stewart's intent there was to hit his opponent with a low blow and it's exactly what he did blocks away that headshot and we come to the end of the round his pay for sure that is a bad gash and i'm wondering what he's using in there you know you can only use certain things avatine adrenaline and thrombin i'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue good shot to the head with that right hand right to the body Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Stewart's going about this in a completely different way. He was knocked down, and now he's abandoned everything that he trained up to this point to do. He just threw the game plan away, Teddy. Yeah, now there's good and bad to that. The good is maybe he had to make a change because he didn't feel what he was doing was working, obviously, or that it could work throughout the duration of the fight. But the bad to it is also that he's doing something he's unfamiliar with now, and his opponent knows that too. His opponent, I think, is going to get more aggressive. At the halfway point of round seven, needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Very 
nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Look at that combination by Crusher. He missed with that head shot. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Crusher's eye is an absolute mess. That cut is really a major issue. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, right? Yeah, in a way, but you don't want to get carried away where you're just aiming at one thing. You want to throw your punches. You don't want to go out there now, you know, start chucking for an exact spot there. You get caught up too much in that. If it's going to land, it's going to land in that area, and the damage will be done. Stewart's opponent knows exactly what the game plan could be now. That counter punch landed with some success. And yet another big shot comes in. And for the second time tonight, he goes down.